Hello and thank you for joining in. This is Goldie again. In the previous video, I just purchased this domain from GoDaddy and in this video, I'll go ahead and sign up for G Suite with that domain so that in coming videos, we will complete the setup where our domain, which we have with GoDaddy, will be using G Suite services and we will do a step-by-step -step setup as per Google's best recommended practices. So let's go ahead and sign up for G Suite. For that, I'll simply go to Google or I'll search for G Suite. We have a few links coming in, but let us click on the one which is official uh, Google link. So I'll click on that and I will click on get started to start the process of sign up. Google offers 14 days trial, at least at the time of recording this video, uh, with no credit card requirement. So I'll go ahead and click on next. And now Google is asking for my business information, such as the name of my business and how many employees I have. In, in your case, it might be different, but for me, it's just myself and I'm an individual. So I'm gonna put my own name, but you can obviously put your business name. It's just me. I'll click on next. Now Google is asking uh, where I'm located or where my business is located and this information is very important because Google has geography based pricing which means the pricing which a business might get if it's coming from United States would be different from a business or an individual who is signing up from let's say India. So make sure that you put choose the right country here and uh, this is really hard to get it changed later. You might need to call Google support and you know, might need to have a couple of discussions with them to get this changed. So just wanted to tell you that, make sure that you put the right country here. And then click on next and this is, should be the email address where Google will be sending information about your subscription, such as the terms and conditions and so on. So I'll say that this is my current email address click on next and now Google is asking you to choose among the additions or the SKUs it has including basic business and enterprise uh, some of the features which differentiate uh, these additions are listed below so you can just go ahead and look at those and if you hover on them they will also tell you some of the descriptions uh, to give you a better idea to make a decision for me uh, I guess this the basic SKU which is five dollars a month is enough. I'll go ahead and select this one. Now Google is asking if we already have the domain or need to buy one. In our case we already have our domain which we purchased from GoDaddy. So I'll say yes I have the domain which I can use. And I'm gonna type in my domain which is rotagoldie.com and I don't want to do the spelling mistake stuff so let me just copy it from here just to make sure. And I click on next. Now, Google is uh, asking me or, you know, kind of providing me some information that emails on this domain will not be affected just to give you some sort of an assurance so that you can understand this and click on next. Now, Google is asking you to create the first account and this is very important because this account will be a super admin account and super admins can do anything on this G Suite subscription including deleting the whole instance. In my case it's myself so I'll go ahead and put my own name and I'll choose the password which would be at least eight characters and I'll click on next. So Google is just confirming that I'm not a robot and which I am not so I'll go ahead and clear their capture which is to select the pictures with car images and this one this one this one this one and this one verify and I'll click on agree and create account by the way you can also click on this G Suite agreement to read uh, you know in details if you plan to for me it's okay I'll go ahead and click on agree and create account now Google might take a few seconds to do the processing at the back end uh, as it has uh, creating or registering my subscription. So as you see, our GoDaddy domain is now registered with Google. Next, we'll go ahead and start the setup in the next video, starting by verifying our domain name. So keep watching the next video. Thank you.